up guys here we are again for another reaction so today we're ready to continue our journeys on reactions to movies guys yes my favorite thing to react i think last two movies i reacted to i didn't mention that but before i was mentioning all the time at the beginning that that was my favorite thing to react and if you think about you know the the feedback the, the views you know the adherence that i'm receiving from my videos movies are the ones that I'm receiving the most compared with other type of content that I'm doing for example music uh, TV shows animes you know so yes I get it I get it guys we all grew by watching these amazing movies these classics today we are going with the classic again uh, I know that there is a remake with Johnny Depp uh, regarding this movie but I you know I always if there is like a remake I always try to figure out the movie that, that was remade kind of you know for example I know it came out a couple of years ago the thing 2010 I think the remake of the one with Kurt Russell I always try to go with the classics because those were the ones that started it all you know so we should give credits to the people who actually were behind uh, the imagination uh, no everything that uh, was decided in the first place so yes, guys, I decided to go with this movie because today's movie is a fantasy movie related and I'm pretty sure this movie is a fantasy because what they can do in a, a Chocolate Factory, you know? I'm pretty sure it might be something like The Wizard of Oz, you know? Something that uh, will be witnessing uh, some supernatural elements, you know? Like things flying that shouldn't, you know? Like, that's like my expectation about this uh, movie. Uh, it might be a musical, maybe. I'm not sure, no, I never watched this movie. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Depp. So when the, no, the, the remake came out a couple of years ago, I didn't put my eyes on the, no, the remake, you know? It will be like, for example, maybe Brad Pitt. I'm a huge fan of Brad Pitt. Even though I, I know Johnny Depp is a, you know, a better actor, I just love the taste of Brad Pitt for movies. So I know when he's in the movie, he's a great movie. Yes, that's all. I don't know the actors. I don't know even the, the main actor. I don't know him. I think I never watched a movie with him because I don't remember watching a movie with him on a leading role. I know him because he's on the, you know, on the poster, on the official poster of the movie. But all the other actors, I don't know. Hopefully I will be recognizing some. You know, the director as well. I'm not aware of who he is. Uh, we will having maybe the credits at the beginning and we'll be able to see who is the director we will possibly having the credits at the beginning so let's see if uh, I will recognize the director but I don't think so yes I think that's all I think I don't think I can add anything else uh, before we jump to the actual movie guys please give me a little energy as always by subscribe my channel this one click when we get much more happier stronger so you know, so keep the right mentor to keep this with you guys almost every day. And yes, as always, hope you're fun. And let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Willy really Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The, the title, the way you know, was made. The, the lettering is kind of like Wizard of Oz. Hey, chocolate! I love chocolate. Chocolate has to be in everyone's life. Top five favorite things to do. In this case, to eat. My favorite chocolate in the world has to go to Ferrero Rocher. I think Ferrero Rocher is my favorite. Directed by Mel Stewart. See? No idea. Bill's Candy Shop. This might be the place that uh, maybe a chocolate factory might be behind, you know? You look like you were born to be a Wonkerer. A Wonkerer. Who can take a sunrise? Okay, it's a musical as well. Sprinkle it with dew. Candyman and Marcy mixes it with love and makes the world taste good. That rhyme didn't actually rhyme. Rainbow. Don't take me wrong, but when I see someone like, oh, oh no, an older man, an older woman even, but more an older man, uh, working in a place where is more focused on kids, I always like have a, a feeling about him that, you know, is creepy. The good old times, especially like, I think Christmas time is the most beautiful time period when you are a kid ends down okay this might be the the main character you know this kid so the Willy Wonka is like 
the god of the candies. He's the one who creates better candies, better chocolates. Ah, come along, Charlie. You're late. Charlie. It's Petey, Mr. Name. Jopak. You're right. So he does some uh, workshop after school, delivering the no the journals, newspapers, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he spends all his money in like candies. Is his passion candies? Look at this Wonka. Here you go. That's the house. It's the airy mountain down the rushing glen. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. I like this uh, the, this scene. A little bit horror, you know. I like that. Wake up! Wake, Wake up! Charlie's home! Okay, they are very poor, yeah. Makes sense. That's why they are sleeping in the same bed. Four people. What difference does it make where he got it? Point is, he got it. <laughs> it's beautiful. my first payday. I like already the, the positivism of this guy. Pressed as workers to steal Mr. Wonka's secret recipes. Especially Slugworth. Oh, that Slugworth, he was the worst. Slugworth. But Grandpa, someone must be helping Mr. Wonka work yeah. the factory. That's where the, the magic, the fantasy, will step in. Who is working for Willy Wonka? Here you go, that's the biggest mystery of them all. Charlie Bucket! Yes, Mr. Turkin. I don't know, sir. Of course you don't know. You don't know because only I know. <laughs> yeah, it might be the, the, the worst thing for a teacher, for his pride, is when a student is more righteous than him. Might be so painful. Here, wait for them, come here. Where's he hidden the tickets? Inside five Wonka bars, you gotta buy Wonka bars oh, to gotta... find them. Class three is missed. That was funny. So the guy is a huge fan of uh, also Willy Wonka. Yeah. Because he's a... Uh, this guy is here for a while, no? Willy Wonka making these amazing chocolates. So people even like with 40s, they are a fan of him. And to the five people who find them, a lifetime supply of chocolate. He'll sell a million bars. Yeah. Yeah, this is a fucking uh, great... Marty move, you know, giving this type of offer will make everyone buy a chocolate. Truly, I think he's still the big so I'm not sure if he has done that because of money, no, purpose, something else. He needs help, he needs, or he's alone by himself, he needs to see people as well, let's see. The first golden ticket was found in the small Look town this. of Dusselheim, Germany. This is crazy. He is how big he's really Wonka. It's like a... One of the wonders of the world, you know? That place. Recovery of the first Wonka Golden Ticket. I, I trust you, Augustus, would find a golden ticket. Eating is his hobby, you know. Be a credit ship. So something cheeky has happened there, you know? Because Soundtrack was telling us that. Go on, open it. I got it! Where? Where? Let's see. Told you, didn't I? <laughs> I really thought I got it. Yeah. I want you to be the first to find a golden Might ticket, Might be like the, the rich. Evil girl. Wait, I can't push him no harder. Nineteen thousand bars an hour, the Shelley. Ooh, she will be definitely be a drama queen. But I won't go to school till I have it. Veruca, sweetheart. No way, her name is Veruca. Don't fucking mention that word because I had one and it took me ages to get rid of it. I got it, Mr. Stone. There we go. Wow. Imagine she would found like more than one. She could sell one and she could like get the money back. From the money they spend on chocolates. Okay, that's the guy again. Okay, he's like close to the kids that won because he was with that kid, the German kid, and now he, uh, he is with this girl. Who is this guy? Why is he always on the right moment at the right time? Miss Violet Beauregard, finder of Wonka's golden ticket number three from Miles City, Montana. How happy she is. Again, guys, who is this guy, man? And what is mentioning to these kids? Charlie, what are you doing here? I'm curious to see how Charlie will win his ticket. But look, if he, he will go, look how the people we will go with. These two girls, they are cheeky, man. They're gonna have our time. I know I'm interested. There are only two tickets left, you know? Just two. Yeah, he has a big heart. You know, he's special. But I am different. I want it more than any of them. Charlie, you'll get your chance. It's hard when you, I uh, know, you are obsessed for something, you know. You want something really, really bad, and you know you're gonna be able to to get that. It's painful, you know. It's like uh, suicidal. That's why obsession is not good, you know. Fight for your dreams, but also accept your place in the world. You know? If you are not born to be successful, there is no problem at all, you know. Life is beautiful, even by having a normal life, you know. You can make magic anywhere. Give me a smile. What happened to that smile I used to know? And the happiness of a mother depends on the happiness of 
the mother's child, you know. Just be glad you're you. Just be glad you are you. Like I mentioned, guys, you know, don't be that obsessed by your dreams. You have a purpose here, no matter what. Is Mr. Mike TV. Hey, Mike, do you think we might shut that thing off? No, are you crazy? <laughs> These kids nowadays are all like 50, 60 years old. No. Hold it, I want to catch this. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life's all about? So the guy is a journalist, actually. That's why he's always close to the people who are. I get it. It's the first time we are actually seeing him. Being a journalist, you know? Somewhere out there, another lucky person is moving closer and closer to finding the last of the most sought-after prizes in history. Well, there's only one remaining. <gasps> wow. No! Grandpa, that money was for tobacco. I told you, Charlie, I've given it up. <gasps> Guys, is it? It is amazing. Come on, turn around. I bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. They didn't see uh, an underneath, I think. Come on! The fifth and final ticket has been found, and we've got a live report coming in directly now from Paraguay, Maguire. South America. Hey, look at this the TV. Hey, yeah. That's how things work back in the days. But look, a lot of love you can see on this little room with you know, people living on top of each other. They are happy. You found a ticket. <gasps> wow. It's money. You will buy something, yeah? Let's think. You will buy a chocolate bar. But you know, all the five ones uh, are founded. Maybe there is a secret six. Let's see. I think I'll buy just one more. For my Grandpa Joe. Sure. Why not try a regular Wonka bar this time? Fine. There you go. He's inside of this one. Has to be. It's too many times, I know, uh, them showing us scenes with chocolate bars, Amy chocolate bars. So, here you go. Give me a newspaper, all right? So maybe one was a mistake. A gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. That means there's one golden ticket still floating around somewhere. Here you go, and guys, somewhere. this Wonka bar that bought for his uh, uncle has a ticket inside. Oh my God! <laughs> Come on! Here we go, guys. That's what happened. You've got it! You've got the last golden Come on. ticket! Come on! Hide it! Run for it, Charlie! You lost it already. Run straight home and don't stop till you get there! Oh no, he got it. Woo, he's a happy kid. Pretty sure, uh, you know, it reminds me of Steven Spielberg movie. You know? Goonies or, you know, E.T. Steven Spielberg was a fan of this movie. And this movie came before he created any type of movie. I think, I mean, like a blockbuster. May I introduce myself? Arthur Slugworth, president of Slugworth Chocolates Incorporated. Your reward will be 10,000 of these. A new house for your family and good food and comfort for the rest of their lives. Yeah, so he's the presence of the the company is kind of like rival of uh, Willy Wonka. Golden ticket is mine. There aren't any more golden tickets. Oh yeah, there. Are. Look at it, Grandpa. See for yourself. In your wildest dreams, you could not imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. <laughs> so he can bring uh, one memory with family. I wish you could go. Okay. Why him and not the others? Come on, Charlie. Come on. I you know, it could have decided differently, secretly. <laughs> Look at me. This guy, I'm pretty sure he's a great actor. I'm, you know, I'm not aware of him, but he might have uh, been in great movies. I never thought my life could be anything but wow, catastrophe. We don't see these things anymore. Cause I've got a golden ticket. I think he was a huge fan as well. Oh, Willy Wonka. Because even like, maybe the company uh, was introduced to the world when him was like, what, 30? But you can fall in love with certain type of chocolate at 30 years old. Chocolate is not only for kids. I never thought I'd see the day when I would face the world and say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at the sun. Well, the movie has already been so good. Great, in my eyes, you know? The musicals and everything. Imagine what's gonna happen inside of the factory. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> good morning! Huh? For a guy who has been 20 years in bed, he moves good, you know? I'd have said it couldn't be done, but it can be done. Yeah. This guy is a terrific actor, man. An ecstasy, but nevertheless, it's there that I'm shortly about Look, to be. At this age, you can jump like that and stuff. Can dance like this, incredible. I want to go in first before.
before anybody else. <laughs> Anything you say, sweetheart. She's doing no great job. Thank you, Rossi. Let's see. How old this character is in this movie? There you go, yeah. So German flags and US flags. Okay, he has a certain age. He is only 60s, you know? Easy. So this chocolate factory and these chocolate bars, they might be in this world, might be like what? 40, 50 years. It's very famous. I think I've seen this guy in some place, in some movie else. Uh... Oh! No! Wow! Wow, man! I just love this scene! Would you come forward, please? Get back! Get back, you! Come on, Baruka, sweetheart! Okay. Hey, man. I hate this, these people, man. And this girl is not education. Parents didn't educate her to be like this. It's nature. Some people, they born already with the seed of evil. I'm Mike TV. Well, you're dead. Fuck. Wonderful to meet you. He has been watching too many, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood movies. I'm so happy for you. And who is this gentleman? My grandfather, Grandpa Joe. Delighted to meet uh, you, sir. Yeah, he's the best. This kid is the best, you can tell. <laughs> he looks a great actor. I could feel the the energy, the vibe, you know, the charisma. Oh! <laughs> Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. These people actually. Outer vestments go, yeah. are in hand. We'll begin. Hey, this is funny. I'm loving it. We'll be having like traps and tricky stuff around this factory. I didn't know we had to sign anything for this tour. I yeah, it's see like. What it says in the bottom. He's mentioning, okay, uh, all the worst thing can happen to you in this place, and we are not responsible for that. <laughs> Basically. Standard form of contract. Hey, the Adam, no. They dreamed coming to this place. They are not aware of uh, what is about to happen then, you know? Give me that pen! You're always making things difficult! <laughs> no, this girl deserves a lesson. I'm begging for this to happen. Or 100% pure. Why he, like, mention out loud? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey guys, this is scary, man. It's like a... what did it move with Jack Nicholson? The Shining. Oh, don't be a darn fool, Walker. That's the way we came in. Are you sure? Yeah. I think this, uh, like, this, this place that they are now oh, turn around and now they are in the place they get. Is that it again? Look. Where's the chocolate? I doubt if there is any. Hey! This is amazing. A tiny doll. You're off your bleeding nut, Wonka. No but one can get through there. But I know why they hired Johnny Depp to portray this character. His body language and is the way he approaches people, speaks to people. It's very similar to John Depp. This is a musical laugh. Rock on and off. Yeah, no one will ever figure it out. Unless if you are a, like a pianist. Hey, so now officially they are in. Here we go, exactly like the Wizard of Oz. Hey, so they can go with the boat. You know, to different places. Hold your breath. Make a wish. Oh, candy's everywhere. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. I wonder if the, the actors so far, no, they have been singing songs. Is actually uh, their voices, you know? Or if someone is like actually singing on top, you know? But I don't think so. I think these guys, they, they are theater actors, so they know how to dance, to act, and to sing. There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. There is no life compared with imagination. They say everything that we imagine is actual reality and a different type of dimension, different type of universe. What a disgusting, dirty river. It's industrial waste, that. Oh, you ruined your watershed, Wonka. It's polluted. It's chocolate. I want an Oompa Loompa now! Can't <laughs> you mm. Yeah, these two will fight. Never put... Two drama queens in the same cage. Please, don't do that! Don't do that! You're contaminating my entire river! Please, I beg you, Augustus! <laughs> Holy fuck! Now you have a contaminated river forever. My chocolate! My beautiful so chocolate! It's like a chocolate uh, milkshake, yeah? In a week, you, you gain, what, 20 kilos? He can't swim! There's no better time to learn. This is coming <laughs> up the bike! Nah. Remember you once asked me how a bullet comes out of a gun? Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Gloop! Adieu, auf Wiedersehen. Oh, Are you, if you're not greedy, you 
will go far. If you are not greedy, you will go far like that. No, it doesn't work like this. A lot of people that are greedy and they, they go far. In terms of like success, you know? So I think they are adding to another place on this boat. They hey, beautiful. Ah, Disney. This is Disney for me. You're going to love this. Just love it. Hey, look at this, man. I, I need to go to Walt Disney one more time. Hey, yeah. This bear, this sweets, I think they are here for so long. They might be one of the first candies, the bears. <laughs> Making it more terrifying, more evil. You know, the thing is... Yeah. They are not actually moving. This scene was made by them showing, you know, these images on the wall. You know, and the boat stays still, but they are not going anywhere actually. All ashore! All ashore! No touching, no tasting, no telling. Yeah, so they are actually on the fence. Time is a precious thing, never wasted. It's hard to not waste time. I waste a lot of time in my life. I love to sleep, I love to lay down in my bed and, you know, think about things that I shouldn't, but I just. It's my thing. Forgive me, but no one must look under there. This is the most secret machine in my entire factory. Would you like to see? Yeah. They are creating something new. The idea believes that you put to bed uh, Slugworth. Revolutionize the industry. You can suck them and suck them and suck them, and they'll never get any smaller. I can only give them to you if you solemnly swear to keep them for yourselves. Agreed? <laughs> Charlie, right now, he is not having... A relevancy that I thought you would have, you know? It's been quite his character. It's more about Willy Wonka right now. What you are witnessing, dear friend, is the most enormous miracle of hey, the machine so age. Good, no! So funny. Yeah, that's like how you do things. Finito! That's all! Finito! Finito is a classic Italian word, man. Everybody says that. What's so fab about it? This little piece of gum is a gum three-course dinner. It's tomato soup! Hey, the second course is coming up. Roast beef and a baked ah, potato. Okay, yeah. mm, dessert, here it comes. Blueberry pine. Jesus, I love this. Oh, Lita, what's happening to your face? Ah, she's getting blue. It always goes wrong when we come to the dessert. Mm. Always. <laughs> she has to be squeezed immediately. Bad for your teeth. You know, especially for your teeth. But can help you, for example, like I mentioned, stop being you smoking, you know? I got a blueberry for a daughter. <laughs> so one is, is gone, yeah? No way this is like a game where one has to survive. Let's see. Yeah, I get it. What was the, the other one? Ah, the kid that uh, was in that pipe. So he's gone for good. The girl as well, so a few remaining. Yeah, Charlie will be the one. Grandpa, this banana is fantastic. It. it tastes so real. Try some yeah, more. I wonder if there is like pencils that you can like draw in the color of the pencil you draw. Taste something actually. Oh, come on, let's try some, please. No, 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 absolutely not. There'd be children floating around all over the place. Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. Yeah. Hmm, not bad. I can't understand why. Let's focus. It's fun, Grandpa. Hey. It works. Come on in. The air's hey. fun. Yeah, oh, I don't know, Charlie. Uh, I have been Really well done. Ah, uh, something is hanging, this kid. Yeah. They're hanged, but you cannot see it. Well done. No! I can't stop! I can't stop! Uh, ooh, I'm going down! Great, Charlie! Burp! Burp! I burp, burp, burp! The only way! <laughs> Thank you, burp. Uh, <laughs> that's wonderful, Charlie! Good boy! These are the geese that lay the golden eggs. As you can see, they're larger than ordinary geese. Wow, no, they are actually a normal sized geese. The egg decator can tell the difference between a good egg and a bad egg down the chute. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest man. Can you imagine, like, you live a life by giving yourself to the stage, to art, you know? Unbelievable. I envy a lot uh, actors. Gooses! Geeses! Here you go. I want to lock it all up in my pocket. It's my bar of chocolates. Give it to me now. Can you imagine being this age and be so confident? <laughs> El terrible. If they have not done this in one take, how many times it took to make this place good again? Like, she practiced a lot before she actually did this. Done.
She is gone for good. Hold on! Veruca! Sweetheart! Up. Daddy's coming! <laughs> <laughs> Blaming the kids is a lie and a shame. You know exactly who's to yeah. blame. The mother and the father. Yeah. When a kid is bad, is a baddie, you blame your, the, the father and mother. But I still believe that some children, they born evil already. It's not really the, the parents' fault. I don't understand it. The children are disappearing like rabbits. Well, we still have each other. So only two remaining. And I think Charlie was supposed to, to lose on that fan. You know? Somehow, that fan will not kill them, but they will be stuck or something. So he survived already a test. Look at this. Can you imagine how much this might cost? Like, this still exists. Oh. Okay, these two, you know, two takes. They join together. We have to be very careful. There's dangerous stuff inside. One commission, my very Wonka latest vision. and greatest invention. Television. Uh, it's Wonka <laughs> Television. No, it's Wonka Camera, action! Oh, can we move your targets? There it is. What about people? People? Hmm, I don't really know. I suppose I could. You go, you will try with this kid. But it might have some messy results. Yeah, Look at I me, knew. I'm gonna be the first person in the world to be sent by television. Camera, action! This part, hey. Yeah, the child is the only one who will be with him. The remaining kid. My? I remember, like, there was a line in the beginning that, you know, they mentioned greedy people, they don't go far. And all these kids, they lost because they were greedy. The kid would jump to the river. The girl wanted to, to have all that stuff. This kid wanted to go to the living. Am I coming in clear? No. They were greedy. You know? They were they were rushing stuff. That's why they lost. And Charlie was always, you know, chilled. You know, having a step back regarding everything. That's why he will win. I'm famous. I'm a TV star. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> Doompa, loompa, doompa dee da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. Like I mentioned, they mentioned again in this uh, musical, if you are not greedy, you will go far. Exactly. They were greedy, that's why they, they didn't went far. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Oh. Excuse me for not showing you out. Straight up the stairs, you'll find the way. I'm terribly busy, whole day wasted. Goodbye to you both. So about the, no, the reward? What happened? I don't know, Charlie. But I'm gonna find out. Come on, let's go. Let's kick Willy Wonka's ass. It's too cheeky. Here you go. Everything is off on this place. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. He doesn't. He broke the rules. We didn't say any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, Wrong sir. It was in a contract, yeah. Facts, mentis, incendium, gloria, culpum, etc., yeah. etc. Exactly. Memo bis punitor delicatum. They made it in a way that nobody will win anything. You're an inhuman monster! I said good day! Here we go. I'll punch him. No sucker punch from behind. Blow! Charlie will do something, we'll change him. We'll bring hope to his heart. Mr. Wonka? You see? Fuck. You won! Because you did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Slugworth! No, no, that's not Slugworth. He works for me. I had to test you, Charlie. Ah. And you passed the test. Of course, he's special. We have to get on, we have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. <laughs> It's an elevator. It's a wonka -vader. wonka -vader. Everything is Wonka something. It can take you to any room in the whole factory just by pressing one of these buttons. This will lead them to a special place. Come on. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. <laughs> There's never been there as well. Here it comes! You did it, Mr. Wonka! Congratulations! Get up, take a look. Okay, so this is what he was creating, this machine. Wow! How come this is in the air, you know? Like, Jesus. I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm very pleased to hear you say that, because I'm giving it to you. <gasps> Who can I trust to run the factory when I leave? Not a wow. grown-up. So the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. Here you go. What happens to the, the rest of the whole family? Wow, here you go. So, this family has a new house, a chocolate factory to live in, to enjoy the beauty of it. Unbelievable. Yeah, I was expecting a uh, happy finale. Yeah, that's the fantasy right here. That's why it's <laughs> Wow, guys. Great movie. Great movie. 
Jeez, I just love this type of movies, man. First Wizard of Oz, Mary Poppins, and now uh, Willy Wonka and the Factor of Chocolate. Unbelievable. The heart on this movie is unbelievable, you know? I just love the, the main characters on these movies. They are so kind, they're so lovely, they're special, you know? You could tell these people are the ones that, no matter what, they will always uh, change whatever is wrong to good, you know? They are like what they say, uh, light in darkness, no? So, yeah. I'm not sure, like, why he won, but I think after he mentioned all that to his grandpa, the kid going back and giving that candy to him, you know? The, the candy that they, uh, you know, that was given to him and was the special candy, the one that will uh, change the, you know, the industry of candies, he came back and gave it to him. That shows that this kind of act showed him that he was the right person to take care of this place you know to run this place in a way that will be seen a company to make something special something unique for the world something that uh people will feel great about it you know yeah he picked up the the kid the kid is already wise he has a family on his on his side as well so i'm pretty sure this kid will uh made his factory and the willy wonka brand even more unique I think you know because he has better heart he has the passion for for the candies as well so yes i would like to see a part two regarding this movie to be honest you know uh i don't think like i think this movie if i would compare with mary poppins and the wizard of oz i don't think it's better is i have to say it's in third place mary poppins is my favorite the wizard of oz comes in second and will Anger comes in third but it's still a great movie. Mary Poppins is, uh, I would say, a 9 out of, you know, 10. Wizard of Oz, 8-5, and Willy Wonka, uh, 8, you know? So it's close, but I think, you no, know, those two are still better, you know? Maybe, like, I will change, you know? Maybe because it's a, no, a movie that is fresh, I'm still, like, processing everything. Maybe, you know, I'll consider this movie even better in the future. Let's see. I think the movie started very well, you know. I think the first 30 minutes they were great, you know. All the thing where, you know, the, the drama around will get the, the, the golden tickets was incredible, you know. I, I like the fact that they decided to go with cheeky children, you know, to be with Charlie on the factory. Uh, the soundtrack's telling us something. If you are greedy, you will not go far. And they decided to put uh, with Charlie greedy children, you know. They wanted things to happen such a way, or they wanted things to happen in their own manner, you know. So all the the four children, they no, they lost because they were greedy, you know, basically. Yes, acting point of view, top notch, you know. Charlie's grandpa, great actor. When the moment the, the no, he realized that Charlie got the ticket, and he invited him. To go with Char no to go with Charlie to go with him on the chocolate factory. How we was so happy. How was how we was dancing. How we was singing. If no, that's all him because it is you know. No, they cannot like put another person dancing. You know, is him dancing with well six years old even more. The the voice was his as well. So incredible, incredible actor. You know, back in the days, in my eyes, actors they were better. You know, so yes, guys, you cannot like get this type of movies anymore. Uh, I'm curious to see Johnny Depp portraying Willy Wonka. I think he is the right dude to make something special out of uh, this character, you know. I know why they decided to go with Johnny Depp. I Or the director of the remake is that guy that uh, loves Johnny Depp. The same director who does all these crazy movies, you know, that uh, they are peculiar type of movies. Uh, Edward, uh, the Schisters Man, whatever. I've never seen this movie. It's a movie that I'll be watching in the future. It's also fantasy. So yes, it's on my list, 100%. I just love, for example, the details at the beginning when they entered on the factory. Those ants grabbing, uh, you know, those were actually people. Those were the dwarfs, you know? They were doing that. Uh, and after that place that they entered and the, there was not actually like another door to go, uh, further they went you know and that place looked like uh, no a long corridor but 
suddenly they got like bigger so how they draw that to make it us believe that the corridor was huge when it wasn't i think great you know something that i never seen in the movie uh i've seen it you now out there in the streets people they do that but never seen in the movie i think uh, uh i don't know like optical illusion i think that's how you call those type of uh you know piece of arts that they do yes guys uh incredible this thing now in the end they go you know with that machine that could fly you know without nothing with a balloon without something underneath it's weird you know that's like the fantasy here but for me it's still like you know because it's actually a real world so they should have gone with something more real in my eyes you know so they decided to go with the uh, also tesla stuff you know though that kid became smaller no one the no that's i think the last kid before charlie uh they were trying to use that to put things to the television and the kid decided to go as well so another like element of you know fantasy a little bit you know supernatural stuff uh but you know i would expect that i was expecting to this movie to be uh fantasy you know something that doesn't actually exist in the movie you know and yes guy mentioning all the actors the guys who trained you know uh willy wonka great actor as well never seen him before or maybe i, I did or maybe the memory i have from him is because i've seen parts of this movie before because if this is a famous movie this movie has appeared on the TV somehow, and I put my eyes on, you know, uh, for a, you know, for a couple of minutes. So that's why I have the memory of this face in my in my mind, you know. Kid also Charlie, great actor, but from the the you no know, the kids, the, the best actor actress was the cheeky girl, you know, the one that was singing, the one that was uh, that, and I went down where those bad eggs they would go, you know. The little girl actress, great actress, you know, for that age, being so confident, unbelievable, you know. Yes, guys, I think I said it all, like I mentioned, I have a great joy on watching this movie. Very often, when I'm watching a movie, I stop in the middle, I do something, but I was so, like, you know, focused on this movie, that I watched this movie from beginning to end with no stop, you know, because all the time, great lines, great moments, funny moments, you just got stick to the movie. And that's it, you know. You, you want to see the end of it. You want to see like what's gonna happen. And great finale, you know. He will have the factor for him, you know, which is like giving him money because if he will give you know the kid money, he will buy a house. But he has the factor, so he has the house. The reward, the main reward, I think the only reward actually was uh, chocolate for his lifetime. He is you know he owns the chocolate factory, so he has chocolate forever, you know. So so all the promises were met so happy ending you know i thought like maybe willy wonka will be like beaten in the end what will you know, we'll be having a twist he would come out as evil but i thought for a moment but that shouldn't change because of the kindness of charlie he's special you know special people do something that will always make the end of whatever an happy ending you know and that's what happened so yes, guys, as always, if you like this reaction, press like button, comment if you think you know I missed something. Uh, I'm pretty sure I missed because you now being a reactor to movies, you are not focused at all times, so we miss certain things. But that's like, so I'm reacting to this movie to give you some thing to, to watch, to have joy, you know, having someone watching and reacting to a movie. I will be losing certain parts, but in exchange, I'm expecting you guys to help me out on the things I might lost, you know, might not pay attention to. So, yes, guys, tell me everything you think I should know. Share with your friends, they might like to watch some else reacting to this incredible movie, other movies I'll be reacting in the future. And, guys, as always, subscribe to my channel, give me a love, energy, so I keep strong with the right mental to keep new things you guys. Yes, as always, open and fun. And most important of all, stay safe, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.